over 10,000 gymnastic clubs in the United States, but only the National Academy of Artistic Gymnastics in Eugene, Oregon, has a complete program which includes housing as well as training. It can cost as much as $20,000 a year to attend the academy. Only one out of ten students is accepted at the academy after strenuous testing and a two-hour audition, which includes all five events of gymnastic competition. The balance beam, the uneven bars, vaulting, tumbling, and floor exercises. A rather trying ordeal when you consider that the average age of the entrance is only 10 years old. The Academy was opened in 1963 by veteran gymnast Dick Mulvihill. For six hours a day, six days a week, Dick puts his students through a rigorous program in hopes of producing Olympic quality athletes. The Academy has placed at least one gymnast on each Olympic team since 1964. There are presently 55 girls training at the level of international competition. It's a demanding schedule that leaves little time for outside activity. First, I get up at about 7. Come to the gym and start working out at about 9.30 on bars. We work on bars from like 9.30 to 11. And then we do floor until about 11.30 or 12, and then we vault till about 12.30. And then we work on beam till about 2. And then we do weight room and then usually go home. Most of the children are just a little bit above the average in athletic ability, but way up on determination and goal orientation. We have so many good kids. It's the best group I've ever had in 21 years of coaching gymnastics. Donna Wilson, Julianne Brumbaugh, and Tiffany Quincy are all 12 years old and are among the top athletes at the academy. is one of the top juniors in the United States. Uh, her strength is uh, tumbling, the uneven bars, and uh, of course an all-around ability. Uh, Julianne Brumbaugh is a, a, a fiery little competitor. She's very strong in the all-around. Uh, last year she had the highest score in the nation as a, a class two gymnast. Um, and that is about two rungs below the elite level. The young Tiffany, uh, Quincy, is probably our, our schmaltz queen. Uh, she has a pizzazz that uh, none of the other young girls have. But she's in a category by herself relative to this. She's strong, she's flexible, she's courageous. What she does is done with a fantastic amount of flair. The routines that these girls go through are so advanced that many are unheard of at other gymnastic clubs. On the uneven bars, Donna originated a unique and very difficult maneuver which is now called a Wilson, just as a Yamashita vault was named after the gymnast who first developed it. When asked about their future goals, these young gymnasts are quick to respond. To make the 1984 Olympic team, the Olympics, <laughs> and to make the 84 Olympics. For these athletes, hard work and dedication is a way of life, and we've seen them up close because you asked for it. <laughs>